former Slipknot drummer Joey Jortison, one of the founding members of the hard rock band, has died at age 46, his family announced Tuesday, July 27. We are heartbroken to share the news that Joey Jortison, prolific drummer, musician and artist passed away peacefully in his sleep on July 26, 2021. A statement from Jordison's family to Billboard reads, Joey's death has left us with empty hearts and feelings of indescribable sorrow. To those that knew Joey, understood his quick wit, his gentle personality, giant heart and his love for all things family and music. The family of Joey have asked that friends, fans and media understandably respect our need for privacy and peace at this incredibly difficult time, the statement adds. The family will hold a private funeral service and asks the media and public to respect their wishes. Dot Jortison formed Slipknot in his native Iowa in 1995 along with percussionist Sean Crahan and bassist Paul Gray. Slipknot announced in December 2013 that Jortison and the band were parting ways after nearly two decades together, though the drummer later said in interviews that he was fired. No band meeting? None. Anything from management? No, nothing, Jordison said in a 2016 interview with Metal Hammer. All I got was a stupid effing email saying I was out of the band that I busted my and my whole life to effing create. In 2016, Jordison revealed that his exit from the band coincided with his getting sick with a disease called transverse mellitus and claimed that his bandmates confused his medical issues with a substance abuse problem. I lost my legs, he said on stage at 2016's Metal Hammer Golden Gods Awards. I couldn't play anymore. It was a form of multiple sclerosis, which I don't wish on my worst enemy. Dot it's unclear from the family's statement whether his condition had anything to do with his death. Before Jordison's departure, Slipknot earned three top tens on the Billboard 200, including one number one in all hope is gone September 13, 2008. That album also ruled the top rock albums and hard rock albums charts. With Jordison, Slipknot also claimed four top tens on mainstream rock airplay, paced by a number two with Snuff in March 2010. With Slipknot, Jordison won a Grammy for Best Metal Performance 2005 for Before I Forget. It was one of seven Grammy nominations he received for his work with the band. Slipknot has received three more nods since Jordison exited the group. Jordison formed the band Scar the Martyr in 2013, while he was still playing with Slipknot and was playing with Cincinnum before his death.